Hello, web design friends. It's Josh here, and I've got a tutorial for you here. It's actually not really much of a tutorial as it is a quick fix for when you are editing your CSS within a child theme style sheet. And then when you save it, it does not reflect on the website. If this has happened to you, don't worry. Uh, unless you've got code that is wrong, this is a very common issue. I'm gonna show you the quick fix that I have done for years that works generally every time. Now, that said, there often can be a number of issues depending on where you host, what WordPress theme you're using, all the tools you have in play. In this case, I'm using SiteGround Hosting with their SiteGround Optimizer plugin, which you'll see here, which has a cache on it. And I'm using the Divi theme by Elegant Themes, but as you'll see, that doesn't really matter. So here's the problem. You write some CSS in your child theme style sheet, and again, it doesn't reflect on here. Well, generally I've found there just needs to be two things that you need to do for this quick fix. Number one, is to clear your cache on the website, which is where the this plugin right here, in my case, I'm using the SiteGround Theme Optimizer plugin, will come into play. If you're using WP Rocket or another caching plugin, that is what you would use. And then number two, the second part of this is to do an actual browser refresh. Now, you don't wanna just do a browser refresh. Well, let me take my browser down here. You don't wanna just refresh it here because it still won't show. You actually wanna do what's called a hard refresh and actually clear the browser cache. There are quite a few different ways to go about this. Um, you can actually just search hard refresh on whatever browser you're using. If you're using Chrome, I'll link this below for you. A bunch of different ways you can manually do it. I actually have a Chrome extension that you'll see right here, which is the clear cache extension, which is free for Chrome. So we're gonna utilize all these things to do this. And so let's go ahead and dive in. Let's pretend like my client on this site wants to have a gradient background color on the, on the menu. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pinpoint where we want to put this gradient in. And I'm gonna do a little inspect element and I see that the main header is what we wanna target. And so we're gonna grab this code here. This is where we wanna put our gradient color. So let's go ahead and drop this in our style sheet. By the way, if you don't even know what the heck I'm doing right now and you don't even know what a child theme is or how to get to a style sheet, a couple resources I'll put below for you. One is a Divi child theme explained. Uh, with a free child theme if you'd like. It's just the bare bones child theme. And then I also have a tutorial on how to get to your style sheet, which is covered here. Those are separate tutorials though. We wanna stay on point with this one. So let's put a little gradient background. I'm gonna use my very favorite gradient color tool, which is at colorzilla.com. I'll link this below as well for you. And we're not gonna go too far into this. Let's go ahead and just take this code right here to make this nice little CSS gradient for, um, for this tutorial's sake. And since I already know where this is at, I'm gonna go ahead and go into our style sheet and paste that in there. Now, I'm gonna click save. So I've saved this. And again, here's where we're gonna see our issue. So we're gonna refresh, but again, hmm, it's not showing. I put the code in here, the brackets look right, the CSS is right. It should be showing, but after a little refresh, it did not work. So remember my little two-step fix. First of all, clear your cache with whatever caching plugin you're using. Again, I'm using SiteGround's SG Optimizer plugin. And now we want to clear the browser cache. So again, I just downloaded this free little extension on the Chrome Web Store, which does this so I don't have to remember any shortcuts, although you're welcome to do that. And once we click this, now when I do a refresh, we should see this nice, pretty cool looking CSS gradient appear in the menu. So fingers crossed, let's refresh. And boom, there we go. Now, when I look under main header, we see the fancy little gradient I put in the main header. And there you go, guys, that is it. That is the majority of the time, if you do any special CSS and it's not reflecting on your site, that's the issue. You need to do a two-step fix more often than not, clear your cache on your site, clear the browser cache, and then you're good to go. Now, again, there may be other issues at play if these two steps don't work. It all depends on your hosting and the different tools you're using. But more often than not, uh, cache for your website, cache for your browser, and you should be good to go. Again, if you're not sure about how to access your style sheet in Divi or any other themes you're using, be sure to check out this tutorial that I have below for you. I'll show you all about that. And then if you're wondering why you should need a style sheet and child theme on your website, then make sure you check this out. I'll explain that for you. And again, I hope this helps you out because I see so many web designers get so confused and frustrated about this, and then they end up spending hours doing stuff that generally doesn't provide a solution. All you need to do, clear your cache, clear your browser cache, and there you go, my friends. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you in the next tutorial.